What's up guys? There is a new game in Play Store and it is called Pokemon Unite. Apparently, this game is like, not like, similar to other MOBA games where there are champions, which are the Pokemons, and each Pokemon has different roles and different skill sets. So, there might be goals and other objectives. And now, let's check it out in the game, Rank It. As you can see, uh, Pokemon Unite has several roles. Speedster, Attacker, Defender, uh, Supporter, and a All-Rounder. So, Attackers are mostly range Pokemons, while Defenders are tanky, tanky Pokemons. Speedster are quick Pokemons, agile, they're like assassins, and all rounders are like fighter Pokemons. Then there is the supporter, which supports other Pokemon in battle. Ready, uh, go! So, at the beginning, it is the base evolution of the that the Pokemon so as you can see they are tiny and there are there are apparently three lanes the upper the middle and the bottom lane so you can find buffs in the middle lane so it's like you are a jungler you need to get all these buffs buffs I mean to help your other teammates in game so you can visit other lanes and perform surprise attacks so i think the first goal in this game is you need to level up uh faster so to level up you need to kill wild pokemons and gather as much xp as possible so when you level up faster you will unlock your skills faster which will be your edge in the game so you must focus on this wild pokemon because they will give you these pokeballs and the towers here in this game are like uh, what you call that uh, oh like soccer so you must throw all your pokeballs in this goal so you can long press or hold your pokeball to shoot it on the towers so any any damage or any attack on the enemies will interrupt your charge or your dunking okay. so that's our first death So as you can see, I am now level 7 and I unlocked the evolution of my first skill. So I chose Dragon Rush, it is a dash movement. So the Pokemon I use is a all-rounder. So it can perform heavy damages while uh, sustaining all these damages. Received. So I think uh, the more crucial thing in this game is the teamwork because you can fight all the Pokemons by yourself. So you can see they have different skill sets and these skills will help your team in winning a team fight. Especially if your skills have uh, disables like stance or airborne you can throw your enemy up and you can perform different combos while they are being stunned or while they are disabled now uh, I'm attacking this wild pokemon or uh, it's 
name is Rotten. Yeah, I don't know if it's a wild Pokemon because I'm not really a not 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 really a fan, but I'm not that knowledgeable. I played few Pokemon games, but yeah, I'm not that expert. So Rotten in the top lane. Helps in disabling the guard of the gold zones. Yeah, so that's what we call them, gold zones. So when the gold zone is unguarded, uh, throwing pokeballs at them is much faster. Unlike when it's guarded, you need to hold your pokeball skill for like for how much pokeballs you have for example if you have a lot of pokeballs it will take time to charge it up so yeah you must keep that in mind so nine tails here is somewhat okay for a bit <laughs> and yeah so nine tails is a attacker is an attacker pokemon she can deal a lot of damage without uh, not without but she can deal a lot of damage while she's so far away because she's an attack Pokemon yeah so the other thing with these gold zones when your Pokemon gets near to them mm, you will get a shield and movement speed so it's like a healing healing galing <laughs> so you need to protect this gold uh, this gold zones because it's it is a score so when your enemies score in your gold zones and the threshold of the gold zones is met for example, the gold zone has 50 pokeballs, so that gold zone will be destroyed. And losing a gold zone is very bad. I mean, it's not a good thing because it's like a tower. You will heal at it, and you can use it on team fights to sustain the fight. So, other thing in Pokemon Unite is the speeders are really fast. <laughs> so, you can chase them. I mean, it's not that you can chase them, but you should not chase them, especially if you're alone, because they might put on a, an ambush, causing you to die. And when you die, the uh, enemy Pokemon will gain additional XP so they will level up faster and that will be a disadvantage for you so we just took out the second Rotom and Rotom will disable the defense of the gold zones making it easier for you to score a goal The gold zones, there are what you call it, blocks speedway, speedway uh, between them, between each goal. So, for example, if the first first gold zone is not that destroyed, and you went between the first and the second gold zone, your movement speed will be drastically reduced, causing you to move slower. So, with that, the enemies can chase you down and perform ambush so as you can see here we have already destroyed the first and second gold zone on the top lane and the first gold zone in the bottom lane we also have uh, two rotons defeated so that's a good thing because that will help us to 
finish the game earlier. Uh, it's my third death. There's this cool creature after respawning where you can catapult to a certain lane by selecting it. So you can you can come to the plane uh, faster. So if you need to respond uh, quickly in a team fight, you can use that catapult. So unlike the real Pokemon game, the elements and yeah, the, the elements doesn't affect or doesn't have to reduce damage on opposing elements. For example, water Pokemons don't deal additional damage to fire type Pokemons. And so on and so forth. So the best thing to do here is to complete the components. So you must have a defense Pokemon, supporter, attacker, speedster, and all rounder. So that's a rank match and we won with 502 points and that is all everyone thank you for watching so that's my initial review for pokemon unite on my next video i will create a review for each pokemon i hope i can buy them all so thank you for watching and peace out